the gather evidence work item is offered to Fred and Lucy. After that, the prepare defense work item is offered to several magistrates. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we talk about distribution by offer multiple resources. The ability to distribute a work item to a group of selected resources on a non-binding basis. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. Here we have our workflow with two tasks, gather evidence and prepare defense. And when we start the animation, um, the first work item is offered to Fred and Lucy on a personal basis. So this is direct allocation and either of them can um, take it. So if Lucy takes it and executes it, then we go to the next task. And now this is offered to the role magistrate. So this is role based allocation and either Sean or Alicia can take it. So if Sean takes it and completes it, then we're done. In YAWL, we can implement this by offering a work item to several participants. We can do this either by directly selecting several participants or we can select a role and then there can be any number of users having that role. So here we are with many windows open. Um, on the top we have the YAWL administrator uh, and the workflow specification and at the bottom we have Fred, Lucy, Sean and Alicia. And a case is already started and we have gather evidence now and it's offered to two participants, Lucy and Fred. And if we refresh the work queues here, we can see that they have this. So um, let's say Lucy takes this, accepts it, starts it, and then works on it. Now it's completed. And um, if we refresh the admin queue, we have now prepare defense. And this is offered to Sean and Alicia. So here we can refresh, there's nothing there anymore. And we refresh these work queues now. This is now based on the role. And um, we now take uh, Sean and Sean will accept it, start it and work on it and complete it. Thank you for watching.